This is a video I've been wanting to make for a very long time. From werewolf transformations or as a superpower effect, I'm gonna teach you how to morph. First film your footage, have an actor one, then actor two, or actor three, four, whatever, as many as you want. Then you're gonna want to remove that actor from their background. You can use the roller brush tool in After Effects, or you can use something like Runway Background Remover. Just go to runwayml.com, click Try Runway for free, sign up with Google, upload your footage, drag it in, add green dots to select what you want to keep, preview it to make sure it's working and make any changes as necessary, then click Done Masking, Export your video, then download it from the Assets page. Then scroll down on this video you're watching right now, give it a like and subscribe. You'll bring the two clips into Adobe After Effects, line them up where you want the transformation to happen, press T on the keyboard so you can see the opacity, and drop it to 50% so you can see both the actors. On Actor 2's clip, hold Shift down and push P, R, and S to open up Position, Rotation, and Scale. Click on the stopwatches to add a keyframe where you want the transformation effect to end. Then go to where they start and adjust actor two to fit over actor one using these settings. The best thing to try to line up are their eyes. Now actor two looks like he's actor one's height. You can parent actor one's clip so that way she follows his animation and moves with them using this pick whip tool. I think that's what it's called. Now let's remove all that green by searching for the key light effect and selecting this picker, and then picking the green color. Boo! Then search for mesh warp effect and drag and drop it onto both of the clips. You're gonna choose a number for the rolls and columns. The higher the number, the better it will work, but the more work you'll have to do too. I'm gonna go for something like 22, because I'm a little lazy. It's gonna take a lot less work if these actors don't move at all. So let's freeze her frame. I'm going to right click, click time, enable time remapping, add a keyframe right there, and then highlight it, copy it, go to the end of the transformation, and paste it. You could do the exact same for Actor 2, but he's holding really still. I don't think it's necessary. In Actor 1's panel, go to Effects, Mesh Warp, and under Distortion, add a keyframe where the start of the transformation happens. And then we're going to move to the end of the transformation and adjust the Mesh Warp to fit Actor 2. Zoom in, and with the Mesh Warp selected, you can see all these boxes. Drag the corners of these squares and adjust her until she perfectly fits Actor 2. You can push, pull, grab these lines, and twist them to fit perfectly. You can also select more than one at a time by holding down Shift and selecting multiple. Once you got it down, you can do the exact same thing for Actor 2, but in reverse. Start at the end of transformation, add a keyframe, then move to the beginning of the transformation of the distortion, and adjust him to fit Actor 1. If at any point they're not perfectly aligned during the transformation, you can always add another keyframe and adjust these settings. Once you're done, I like to animate the opacity so Actor 2 starts at 0 and over time becomes 100%, and actor one starts at 100% and eventually becomes zero. You can adjust this to whatever looks best. If they look too transparent, you can always duplicate actor two to make it a little more solid. Then all you gotta do is add a blank plate underneath it all right there, and that's it. I made this scene for our feature film, Day Hero, a superhero who wakes up every day with a new super ability. And if you wanna watch the entire film, you can click right here.